Then you hear stuff like, you know, what the president said, Republicans are fiscally demented. What does that even mean? Is it demented to want to be responsible? Is it demented to want to live? Now, I will, granted, I will give you the difference between actual conservative and then the compassionate republicanism, conservatism, that kind of thing, where it's like, oh, we're still going to kind of pay for stuff for everybody. You know, they did the whole too big, diff- they were in all of that. So I get it. That's demented because it's just what Democrats would do. But to sit here and say that fiscal responsibility is demented, do you realize what that's promoting? You're promoting this concept to America that it's irresponsible to be responsible. You're promoting the president of the United States out there saying this stuff. You're promoting the idea that it's better fiscally to be reckless and not demand any accountability for spending than not. And that's all people want. People just want there to be accountability and they want there to be some some transparency and also for the government to not spend so much damn money. Like, do we really need to study lesbian obesity? I'm not, I bring that up because it's just funny. But that was a real thing that we spent tax dollars on. We studied shrimp on treadmills. I'm not even going to get into the latest waste report from last year because I'm already kind of cranky. And this is just going to push me over the edge. And I don't know what the, you know, what it's going to be like traveling to Vegas because I already hate traveling. I don't even know what that's going to be like. So it'll be a very bad day for everybody around me. So I just don't even want to look at the waste report today. Kane, what I'll probably do is we'll look at it after we get to SHOT Show. Because people bring us goodies, and we'll have some goodies, and then we'll look at the waste report. I feel like that's the best way to do it. And they put us in this big empty room where there's carpet everywhere and the walls are covered with fabric. So I feel like that's probably almost like a padded room. It's probably the best place to put us. Right? Because I'm not even going to look at it. I'm not even, even going to look at that. But that's, that's the whole thing. So why is it's – just, it's just – it's asinine. And to hear this from a guy – who knew his crack-smoking kid had this laptop and all this other stuff, and then he just went along with it. This ex-intelligence official lies. Oh, yeah, I knew it was real. I still signed the letter saying it was fake anyway. This makes me not want to follow laws. Can I be real? I don't want to follow any. I was thinking about this the other day. I'm the meme of the little penguin sitting there going, well, now I don't want to. That's me right now. I just, it's the little, this is how, I'm just saying, when you have the government that is not accountable, this is how you get vigilanteism. Right? This is totally how you get it. <sighs> Golly. You remember that movie Falling Down? Total aside. Michael Douglas. Weren't you all with him until that one point when you're like, oh, damn, he's crazy. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> like, you really, I still like, when he beat up that Nazi, that was pretty awesome. I still understood, though. I mean, yeah, you got, you know, you got, he was just fed up with all of it. Fed up with all of it. He was Clark Griswold on Christmas Eve times 11. He was done with all of it. You know, when you have the government, like, intelligence officials, people who are in the intel department, people who have security clearances that you don't have afforded to them by your tax dollars, people who could actually walk into a building and probably look and see if them aliens are real, those types of things. When those people can't be honest with you, when they went out of, for the reason of politics, when they say things like, yeah, I knew that laptop was real, but I still signed the letter that said it was fake because Democrat. You know what that makes me want to do? It makes me want to roll stop, not fully stop all the way at a stop sign. Little stuff like that. That's how it starts. It makes me want to do that. You know what I mean? It makes me want to rip off the do not rip off under penalty of law tag on a random pillow in a store. Like things like that. I didn't say I'd do it. And I'm not burning down a building leftist, so shut up. But, you know, it makes me want to start. Like, you know, little bitty things. You know what I mean? Like little bitty stuff. That's what I'm talking about.